welcome all of you today i am going to explain you about how to clean the polios once the crop get completed today i am in a polios where the crop was around 8 to 9 months the grower has completed uh, his crop and now he is going to remove the entire uh, uh, leftover uh, crop and he is throwing out from the polios <laughs> Mm. You see, he is uh, removing the crop here. The previous crop was heavily infected by a nematode, where uh, you can see the root knots. The Menadogaini and Kaginata root knots are there. By removing the crop and throwing it out, you are not only removing the plant debris and you are also removing the nematodes particular population of nematodes you are throwing out uh, from the polyoses and generally thrips, mites, white flies are the major pest in sweet pepper cultivation where the thrips, mites and white flies lay their eggs in the plant surface either on dorsal side of the leaf or on the um, surface of the stem to avoid all those infection in the next crop it is must to remove the sweet pepper plants uh, once the crop get completed and you need to throw this out of the polyos to avoid further infection in the next crop. After uh, removing the plants and the grower is also cleaning uh, the leftover uh, leaves which are uh, dried and uh, dropped under the plants where uh, these green leaves also contains uh, some uh, egg mosses of mites or thrips. That's why it is best to remove all these leaves which are left over in the bed and we need to remove all these weeds because once uh, you throw out the plants uh, sweet pepper plants outside the folios the strips may live and uh, eat the feed on these uh, weed plants it is must to remove the weeds once the grab get completed you see you can see here this is a trips infection on the weed where uh, it is in one of the host plant. Always uh, the polio surrounding should be neat and clean. It should be removed completely to minimize uh, the first infection in next crop. Once you remove the crop uh, inside the polio, you need to clean the surroundings of the polio. By cleaning the surrounding of the polios, by removing all those uh, weeds and uh, wild weeds around the polios, you can avoid uh, the infection uh, of uh, sucking pest, both uh, thrips, mites and white flies. Uh, by removing all those uh, things outside uh, and uh, surrounding of the polios, it uh, helps the plant uh, to be healthy for a long time. After removing the plants uh, inside the polios, now we are going to clean uh, the surface of the poly sheet where it was uh, covered by full of dirt and algal formation. It is always advised uh, to clean the surface of the poly sheet once in a year or once the crop gets completed. The major advantage of cleaning this uh, poly sheet is by removing the dust and algal formation on the surface of the poly, uh, poly sheet, you will get a good uh, sunlight. Uh, to the plants. By getting the good amount of sunlight uh, to the plants, uh, it will produce a uh, good quality fruits and uh, you will get a very good yield of sweet pepper. If you allow or if you plant uh, the seedlings in, uh, without washing the polyflings, uh, you won't get a uh, good yield due to the lack of sunlight. You see how the grower is uh, washing uh, the seed uh, by using a uh, specialized gun. Baby, baby, 
Let's see how the algaes are getting removed uh, from the polyphenol. Mm -hmm. This is one of the methods of uh, removing the algae from the particles and surface of the polyphenol. Mm -hmm.